hi guys welcome back to another segment on my channel today I want to speak to you about another issue that can cause um, jerking and hesitation now assuming that everything is fine and the carburetor is fine there's no helix there's another area that you can actually have a look at now, sometimes you're driving and you just have this annoying hesitation under your foot especially when you're driving cruise speed like you know 60 75 and you have this annoying hesitation every time and you pull away it's almost like the car gives a bit of a dip and it's just not comfortable so this is the area i want to talk to you about now the vacuum advance that is built into the distributor that is for carburetor models let me just explain to you what this basically does here's a pipe that goes from here and it will go right to the back of the carburetor to a port at the back there and that basically works like this the port sucks air and what it basically does is it sucks up here and it basically pulls on a diaphragm and the diaphragm then causes the timing to move slightly as you're driving you know your cruise speeds it's normally just at low speeds it's not normally at high speeds you know when you're going between 60 75 and you're driving in traffic now what actually happens to this um, vacuum advance inside here is a diaphragm and that diaphragm also starts wearing out and it starts getting little holes in it and little tears which means that the sucking action is not 100% so it's basically sucking air just as an example when I'm speaking about a diaphragm that's in here I'm talking about something like this this is not the exact diaphragm that goes in there what actually happens with this is you get little tears and perforations in here so the suction is not 100% so it needs to be replaced now this whole unit this vacuum advance unit can come off by just loosening these two screws here one here and one over there and um, on the older models you know the performance cars and those big V8s and stuff like that you know the guys used to just take out these uh, vacuum advance canisters and they used to literally open up the um, unit and fix up the the diaphragm because they couldn't get those parts anymore so what they just did it was they just coated it with rubber or they used to patch it up and then the tear was um, sorted and then the vacuum advance used to work as normal now i've discovered that that my one is also not working correctly so i'm now thinking can i take this off and also do the same as those guys and just open up the canister and fix up the diaphragm this probably can come off but i'm not actually going to take a chance because um, i don't want to be in a situation where i've taken it off and i can't put it back again and I don't think you can actually buy a separate vacuum advance unit. You have to buy the whole distributor. And um, that's quite costly. And I mean, this distributor is still fine because it's a genuine one. And um, for one to buy a whole new distributor just because of that, a lot of people just leave it like that. But I can tell you one thing. With the vacuum advance not working, you will feel the difference. If the car will idle erratically, it will be sluggish and it will affect your performance and also your fuel economy these are tests that you can do you can just do a quick ma uh, manual test by um, sucking up on the actual pipe i'm going to show you how to do that now now one simple way to check if your vacuum advance is actually working is by taking off this pipe here and you put a smaller one on here and you route it to your mouth and then you suck on it now when you suck on here you will notice that this portion here will move I'm actually going to do the test to show you I've put on the, the pipe there onto the um, vacuum advance and I'm actually going to suck up on the other end and as you could see nothing actually happened what's supposed to happen is it's got to pull up that lever over there and it's literally got to hold it there I'm trying to show you now by just putting the screwdriver in here. It's supposed to go up like that, and the vacuum has got to hold there when you blow, when you suck on the pipe, and it's got to come back slowly. And that all happens while you're driving, cruising at low speeds. And basically, what it's doing, it's just adjusting your timing 
accordingly you know it's it's it's, it's advancing it as you driving so you get that perfect smooth cruise drive i'm actually going to put up a pic now just to show you what uh, one actually looks like that's been opened up and uh, that has been ruptured or perforated that's um, on one of the older model cars And many times, you know, we don't tend to look at the vacuum advance um, unit. We always think it's the carburetor where there's an air leak or something, but we never look at that. But do yourself a favor, test your vacuum advance um, unit, you know, just suck up on it. Or if you've got a special apparatus for it, then uh, use that. There you go, guys. Hope that helps you and gives you a better understanding of the vacuum advance unit and its purpose. Thank you.